And Adam, we have another Josie nominee live in the studio tonight. I'm excited. Yes, and please join me in welcoming NBC's The Voice Season 21 Top 10 finalist. She and I both hail from Catlettsburg, Kentucky's 41129, the amazing Holly Forbes. Woo woo! Thank you. Thanks for having me. Holly, um, before Overtones Live knew you from last October's performance, which will also become an Overtones Live album soon, you were a top 10 finalist on The Voice, and now you find yourself as a first-time nominee in not one, but two categories for Josie Music Awards. Holly, tell our audience what those categories are, and how do you feel about being a first-time nominee for these Josie Music Awards to be held in Nashville, Tennessee later this fall? Oh man, I'm so excited. Um, I I didn't I'd, I'd heard about the Josie Music Awards and then I saw the Goodwin Brothers and all the people that got nominated last year. And I thought that was really awesome. And yeah, I I didn't really think I would get nominated once you know um, that came out. I was super excited and um, I guess I'm nominated for the female vocalist for the folk. Um, Americana Roots category and then the um, songwriter uh, achievement category so yeah I'm really excited I'm like super thankful and just honored to be a part of it now Holly if I understand correctly you know Renee was talking about at the top of the show getting out of your comfort zone that this is her what second third time doing live now as we talk about getting out of our comfort zones you had audition for other reality shows besides the voice before you got the ticket to go to Los Angeles for your blind audition on the voice uh, tell us about your out of the comfort experience and how <laughs> persistent and determination played a big part in your success oh yeah. Um, well, I auditioned for America's Got Talent when I was in high school, and My then goodness. American Idol a f- couple times. Never got through like the big cattle call line, <laughs> and I actually auditioned for The Voice like four times before I finally got the chance to go out for the actual blind audition. So, yeah, I felt like um, you know the last couple times I got told no from The Voice, I felt. Like, I just wasn't going to do it anymore. I was like, oh, it's not for me. I'm, like, definitely not going to make it. And then COVID happened, and I spent, like, months in my house just playing piano and singing every day. (laughs) And I was like, you know what? I feel like the persistence of, you know, practicing all the time has really maybe paid off. And I tried again, and then I made it. So so, let me get this straight. You said you had to audition before the blind audition. Oh, yeah. So so people have to audition to even get on stage to do the blind auditions. Yeah, they um, they they have like thousands, like 10,000, I don't even know how many people probably audition, but then they pick like a hundred people and fly them out to LA to do the audition. Then they even cut like throughout that process before you get on stage. So it was it was really crazy. It was a uh, a big. I guess it's a big thing to get to go there. People don't really know that side of it. I guess. <laughs> but. Well, um, Holly, I'm going to put you on the spot, and I want to ask you because you and Chase ended up on the same stage last weekend in Mount Sterling. Yes. But what do you like about what Chase Bush not only brings to the Goodwin Brothers, but also oh, to music God. fans in Kentucky as a lead vocalist in their songs? Oh, I mean. He he really takes us like right into the church. I feel like he's he's just got the spirit. I don't know what it is. It's something magic. It's incredible and his voice is just like out of this world. I'm I'm so happy that I got to connect with Chase and he sang with me last you week. You can pick up the check out. <laughs> <laughs> There's some payment going on here for us. And Chase, let me also put you on the spot. What can you say about the talent, skills, background, and stage presence of Holly Forbes? And she's hiding over here in the corner. Oh, my God. You cannot hide behind that mic, Holly. I see you. <laughs> let me tell you, first of all, if you have not heard this girl sing, woman, sorry, she's not a girl. She's a grown woman. Honey. <laughs> Listen, I mean, she will she's just... She's our girlfriend. Her vocals, I... You can even ask Will, because her and Will, Will Goodwin, they went to Moorhead State together and were in the same ensemble together. Technically, probably, I think, is, she will be embarrassed, but one of the most technical and, like, just, oh, precise singers, I think, of our time right now. And I love, I'm a hard singer. I, I love good music, but I'm, I'm a harsh judge sometimes because I love good music, and I want music to be amazing and feel good. 
and let me tell you, she, if, she's just incredible. And then the spirit she brings, she's this little kind of, not timid, but just soft and gentle fresh breath of fresh air. But then she sings and you're like, oh God, yes, I, I love you. <laughs> no, you don't expect it. Like I was, I got to watch you on The Voice and some of your performances that you did, for instance, you sang the dance. Oh yeah. I was like, I mean, you almost brought me to tears Aww. singing that song. It's not that, it was just, I don't know, just your style is so unique, oh. and I'm, it's it's a shame that you did not win that competition, but you know what? People that haven't won have went on to have even bigger careers than the people who have won, so you don't need it. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely like a good platform mm-hmm. to jump off of or a stepping stone to get to other places, and you know, some of the people I've met, like when I was on the show, I've gotten to do... A lot of traveling this the past couple years, and I, I feel like that's just been the biggest thing is you know meeting people and getting on different stages and stuff that, that I never would have gotten to do without the show. Well, so, and one yeah. of the performances that I saw that you did was a Kelly Clarkson song, and oh, you yeah. did that in front of her. Oh yeah. So <laughs> you sang because of you, yeah. a song that was originally right. sang by her, who is an, an amazing artist in her in itself. What was that like, and what was the mind space going you know, into that moment? I'm gonna be so honest. That was that was like the um, if you get voted into the bottom, then you get to sing for like your last chance, and then people vote. I think it's called like the instant save. So I picked that months before and every time I would practice I'm like man I really wish I could change this song because this is going to be terrifying if I ever get in that moment and then I did and it was a little terrifying but uh, it was one of my favorite songs like Kelly Clarkson her being on American Idol I was that definitely like shaped me as a, a singer when I was young and that's why I picked actually picked her team on my audition because she was like just my idol growing up Mm -hmm. so getting to sing in front of her like I don't know if I've even processed that to this day (laughs) so Holly I picked out a recording that is one of my favorite Holly songs to share with Overtones listeners this evening and it's titled All Day and it's another live recording I love live recordings by the way (laughs) Um, from your um, post The Voice experience I believe at Ashland Kentucky's Paramount Arts Center who is performing with you on this um, single Holly oh yes that was my like homecoming New Year's Eve show and I've got um, my fiance Seth Carey um, he wrote that song and um, well we kind of wrote it together but he's the main writer of that song and he's um, rapping on that song and then oh, we've cool. got yeah we've got <laughs> um, one of my best friends Emmy Davis and my friend Todd White on the uh, background vocals we've got Jeff McClelland um, on drums Alan Brown Cordory Brown if you guys know him on um, guitar who else? Chris Justice on bass. He plays with Magnolia Boulevard and some other bands. And I'm trying to think who else was in that. I think that might be the extent of it. We had a pretty big band for that. <laughs> so here is Holly Forbes with All Day.
girl like you Glitz and glam and glitter too Boo, you keep it so fresh Jared beat for them lawsuits Sorry if that show offends You should let me make amends By making you fall in love Before this song comes to an end I'm not a phony I'm only a product of the moment Want you to give me your heart Promise to take it slowly Then we can drive to the house Wine bottles being poured out Smoke fills the air that surrounds Baby, let's just lay it down Welcome back, everybody, to Overtones Live and Off the Cuff with Adam Banks collab show number two. We've had a excellent show so far with some amazing guests and great music. Uh, we are back from the break, and if you are just now joining us, uh, we were uh, talking with Holly Forbes about her just experience on The Voice and her audition, which was iconic in itself because Holly Renee was telling me and uh, you know, I know this myself because I watched you oh. on The Voice, but you got the <laughs> coveted four chair turn, which doesn't happen for everyone. That's where it, that's when every judge turns around and wants you to be on their team. And there was also some begging and some bantering going on between the judges wanting you. <laughs> what did that feel like to have those iconic musicians just fighting for you to be on their team? That was really unexpected. Like. I would say probably a hundred times I'd pictured in my mind like the slow, sad music at the end when I, they turned back around and no one turned for me. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had just like pictured that over and over. So when they actually turned, like in the middle of the song, I was like, what? Okay. That's got to make I you sing better, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think it may or worse. At that point, I was like super emotional. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, so I, it was just unexpected. Like I, I didn't really know what to say or who to really pick because in that moment, like I didn't think I'd have that choice. And John Legend was actually going to be my first choice. And then he got blocked. So I was like, oh, okay, what do I do now? That was like my go-to moment. And then, you know, Kelly was on my second. Well, you know, she was also kind of like tied for my first choice. But um, yeah, it was, I just wasn't expecting, I guess, overall. But it was, it was amazing. You did end up on the team of Ariana Grande. Yes. So yeah. how did that happen? Um, so I... Actually, in the knockout rounds, which is like the third round, I got paired up with a girl named Tom who actually won the show. So I was against them. And they're like, just, if you haven't heard them, you should listen. They're harmonies. They're brother, two brothers and a sister. They are just insanely talented, all three of them. And um, so coming out of that, she ended up picking them. And then I got offered by John Legend and Ariana to for them to steal me to their team and I ended up picking Ariana because she had used her block in, on the audition and I didn't pick her and I kind of like felt sad about I felt bad about that and I was like I'll, I'll go to her team and it was really cool to be able to connect with her. Now are you still in touch with any of the judges from the show? Um, yeah Ariana messages me sometimes. That is cool. Like yeah she'll reply to my stories all the time. And She's got 300 million people <laughs> that follow her yeah. on Instagram and she think about that and she responds and replies to you. That is crazy. She yes. has a lot of 
stands, I think they're called. <laughs> like people with her pictures, their profile picture and her name and their name in some way. And it's, yeah, that was a big boost to like my followers, I guess. When I got on her team, I just saw all these like Ariana people and they, she's definitely loved and she's like a real person. Like she's just a really great person. So I've enjoyed getting to know her and um, learn about how she's, you know, just down to earth and sweet and family oriented and stuff. Well, we are so thankful for both you and Chase for being in the studio today. And we're going to have both of you guys help with introducing the music of our next artist in part two of our special edition of the Josie Music Awards Kentucky preview show.